ladies and gentlemen, is Chlorind good with them? Now, Chlorind is easily one of the greatest characters in the game. Okay, I might be a little bit biased. Actually, I'm very much biased. But she's an absolutely great character. Like, strong powerhouse if you know how to build her correctly. And I'll tell you guys exactly how to do that. Especially if you are going to be using her with Emily. Now, Emily applies Dendro. Which means you'd want to use Florin for Aggravate. And if you want to be doing that pretty often. You're going to need some pretty good adjustments to your character. Now, you want to have as much great as much crit damage as possible because you're not always going to have the aggravate popping up so you want your chlorine to deal damage even when she's not going through an elemental reaction or she doesn't make an elemental reaction or create whatever you can use whatever artifact set that you have it doesn't have to be the harmonic whimsy you can straight up just go gladiators and it will work just as well if you guys don't know Gladiators. Gladiators works because any sword character, claymore, or polearm can use this set and will get their normal attack damage increase, which is what Chlorin does. Now, if you guys don't know, her E skill, basically the normal attacks come from the E skill afterwards. You don't have to get this leveled up. It's pretty much the hero elemental skill where you get the most amount of damage. So as you can see, I did in fact crown my Chlorin. You guys don't have to crown her. Uh, just make sure it's like level 8 and you'll be good to go. Um, her elemental burst also fantastically strong. So you want this to be a uh, high level as well. So I can get the most amount of damage. Already helps herself out with some damage here. So the more electro rated reactions you have, the better. She's going to be your main active character. So you won't have to, you know, matter too much. Because you're going to be doing aggravate here, electro charge here, whatever it is here and there anyway. And her other one will increase her crit rate for the bond of life that she gets. So, what does that mean? It means your crit rate should not be uh, overcapped, right? Right now, mine is, but you guys don't need to have your crit rate overcapped. So, you want to pretty much focus your, you know, all you can at crit damage. My crit damage isn't the greatest of all time right now, but slowly but surely, I will get enough, you know, good artifacts that could potentially replace these and i'll get better ones anyway um mine is c1 but even c0 chlorine will work just as well the only issue i see happening is that you won't get your full potential out of emily as we all know emily is going to be a burning reaction type of character and she's going to be you know one of the first that actually you do a lot from burning now you can have other characters use this set as well and they would also get the sets buffs but emily specifically gets her own damage increase from burning so that is why she's going to be the first quote-unquote burning character right and with chlorine you won't really get that burning reaction which means emily is going to deal less damage which also, in turns, means that you're going to be losing out on a ton of value from Emily. So, I personally don't think the synergy between Chlorind and Emily is bad because you could still get aggravate pretty often. It's just you're missing out on so much from Emily that it feels almost not i don't want to say i don't it's just not a hundred percent if that makes sense so you'd be doing like i don't know 60 percent of the damage that you should be dealing which obviously just sucks emily definitely needs some burning going on so you might be wondering hey i mean can't we just add a pyro character do some burning and then have Corin do some aggravate afterward and the answer is yeah sure if you can manage the timing getting burning more often than you would get the actual aggravate it could work i don't see a world in which that would happen because of how fast Thorin deals normal attacks i don't know i think you're better off sticking with a different character and have the main driver be either pyro or being dendro and your second character being pyro and then emily and then another pyro character prop that is what i think that you should be using but of course you can use whatever team you want um, and emily would benefit anyway as long as you have a pyro character um so yeah that is definitely a massive limiting factor with emily's teams 
and why Corin, Florin just might not make the billing in that sense. Um, that is all I wanted to talk about. So, at the, are we concluding that Clorin does not fit well with Emily? I think so. I think that is the conclusion that we have come to here. But, doesn't mean that she won't work well with Emily. She still could. Though, I do think that you'd lose out on too much value for it to be uh, a recommendation for me. So, yeah. That's going to be pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.